What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, Just Ask Kalisa. And of course, I'm Kalisa. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Today's video is going to be um, part of my Work It Out Wednesday little area, I guess, that I'm adding to my channel. Um, you know, like the credit building, rebuilding, and things like that. Financial matters, I'll call it. Um, today, I want to talk about debt consolidation. I'm not an expert. This is just my opinion. It's something that I've gone through. So I just wanted to give some, I guess, background about what debt consolidation is and how it could possibly help you. Before we get started, let me remind you to go down there and click that subscribe button. I've finally grown to 100 subscribers, so thank you all so much for your support. Click that subscription button and turn on your notifications so that you can be aware of when I upload new content. So let's talk debt consolidation. Debt consolidation is normally a program where all of your credit cards, whether it's a retail card or um, you know a regular credit card, Capital One, Visa, any type of credit account that you have, um, you contact a company. Um, my suggestion is if you choose to take this route that you look for a reputable company, uh, read reviews before you go with anybody. But what a debt consolidation company will do for you is they will help you manage your debt and help you to um, lower your interest rates and your monthly payments so that you can pay off your debts quicker and you know it'll just provide some organization for you. Now in my situation I had credit card debt um, that I wanted to pay off. So I contacted a debt management company. Um, I did my research first to make sure that they were a credible company. Um, and this, the situation went really smoothly for me. They basically had me close all of my accounts. Um, and it was really easy to do. I just contacted each creditor and let them know that I wanted to close my account. Right after I did that, the debt consolidation company reached out to my creditors to let them know that I was a part of their debt consolidation program and they were able to negotiate my monthly payments way down and my interest rates way down and with them providing that service I paid them a small fee per month now the reason I chose to go with debt consolidation is because I did a bankruptcy uh, maybe three years ago two and a half years ago and I found myself falling back into a hole. You know what I'm saying? It was like, okay, I got the, the big big debt issues cleared up. I can start over. And clearly I wasn't in the financial mind space to do that, although I thought I was. So, you know, I kind of, I fell off. And that's just me being honest. I was being approved for things left and right. And, you know, I thought the interest rates were good and I thought it was going to be manageable. And that was not the case. So in order for me to stop falling into the hole, I had to come up with a solution and debt consolidation was the solution I came up with. Now, this company, um, I'm not gonna name them because I don't want anybody going with a company sh strictly off the strength of what Kalisa said. Now, uh, this worked for Kalisa. So my advice is for you to research companies that may work for you. Now, a little bit of history. Um, you know with my experience with this company once I closed all my accounts which I said was very very easy to do um, and the debt consolidation company reached out to my creditors to let them know you know I have joined their program and when I tell you they got my interest rates from like for example 19% down to like six or seven percent um, that's what they did uh, they put everything in it made everything a lot easier because I only had to pay one amount per month and they basically distributed the funds that I paid to my creditors so I was no longer paying my creditors anything the company would take care of that I had a certain day that I had to make my payment by to the debt consolidation company and from there they would then distribute out you know those payments to those companies and that was pretty much it now each state has a maximum amount that a debt consolidation company can charge you as the consumer 
So Michigan has its own limit. You know, California has their own limit. Georgia would have their own limit. Every state is different. I don't remember exactly what the limit was for Michigan, but they, their price, I guess, was the max. And it was, I don't know, 20, 20 or 30 bucks to pay that I had to pay to them in order to utilize their service. In the beginning, for I was a part of the program for a few months, and you know my payments individually would have totaled probably, let's say, we're gonna throw a number out there and say four hundred dollars a month. That is just a I'm just throwing it out there. That is not the exact number, but you know it was four hundred dollars a month, and let's say that they were able to negotiate with my creditors and get it down to two fifty a month, which is fantastic. It's great when you're trying to prioritize and get things in order so it would be like 275 plus their fee so a little over $300 I decided to take myself off of the program because although I liked the um, the comfort of making that one big payment and then they took care of it from there that one big chunk at one time I just couldn't I didn't it didn't fit into my personal budget it was easier in hindsight for me to pay my creditors you know when I was when my bills were due now here's a little trick <laughs> something that I didn't know when I joined the program that I found out after the fact when I left the debt consolidation program which was also very easy I didn't have any hassles or you know the hard sale will we do anything to keep you with nothing like that I just simply called them up and told them I didn't think that the program was a good fit for me at the moment or at the time and my lowered interest rate stayed the same my lowered payment stayed the same and I believe that was because they would have to contact every creditor again to tell them that I'm no longer on the program well I wasn't about to do that they weren't about to do that. I don't even think they cared at that point. So the negotiations that they did with, you know, your Capital One and my Victoria's Secret card and things like that, those payments stayed the same. I don't know if all debt consolidation programs work that way, but for me, they stayed that way. My interest rates did not go back up to their original amount. My payments did not go back up. And some of my payments were $35, $40 a month, and they were able to negotiate them down to $12 or $13 a month, and they stayed that way. So that was a huge bonus for me because I was prepared for them to go back up to what they originally were, and that did not happen. So um, just saying that's what happened to me, and that allowed me to get off the program, not pay that $35 service fee, and maintain lower payments, lower interest rates, allowing me to pay double my payments. So, you know, some of my credit card balances, none of them were high. I had one that was a little high, but the other ones were, they were, you know, average. They weren't really bad, weren't in the thousands of dollars my interest rates and payments staying with the debt management company got them negotiated down to allowed me to make double payments and in essence pay those bills off a whole lot faster i'm still paying off some of them but it's been close to a year and my interest rates have not gone back up to what they are so if you are having a hard time with organization and you know you feel a little because that was my issue I felt a little overwhelmed with the amount the different dates and the you know different companies and trying to keep keep track of who I was supposed to pay when I was supposed to pay them and everybody had a different date it was a bit overwhelming so if you have a problem with that you know like the organization of the whole thing debt consolidation may be something that you want to look into getting set up on a program does take a little bit of time because they want to know every account that you have that you're paying on um i didn't have to add like my car note or anything like that it was just all my credit card debt so getting into the program was really time consuming it took a, 
it took about a week to make sure they had everything covered so nobody was being left out you know everything was just under this one umbrella and that made it a whole lot simpler for me I thought at the time but looking at that one hunk of money going out at once something could have come up at you know come up that week that I wasn't expecting or you know my payment to the debt consolidation company was due at the same time I don't know uh, my car note was due or whatever the case may be it just didn't work out for me but I could see how it would work out for somebody so just wanted to put that out there debt consolidation may be a good idea for you with credit card debt um, retail account debt any type of bill, Walmart card, Victoria's Secret card, uh, any card, look into debt consolidation. Like I said, do your research, see, read the reviews before you make any kind of commitment and take it from there. It could be a huge benefit. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at just.ask.kalisa at gmail.com. My email address will be down below in the description box description box and you can shoot me an email if you have any questions about you know you want advice on relationships or credit or finances or anything just shoot me an email and I'll respond to you as soon as I am able thank you so much for stopping by and you can catch me in the next one